Yeah, break the glass on it. Yeah, wake up and I get out of bed. Walk to the bathroom, pee instead. Now I'm doing pee. Grab my guitar, take the guitar. I go to the bar. Now I'm walking in the bar with the six string. Now I'm walking in the bar with the big fling. And I look at all the ladies and they're looking at me. They're looking back at Tommy and what do they see? Is a guitar. Cause the guitar is cool. Guitar is cool. Tom has a guitar. And so Tom is cool. But without a guitar, Tom would not be cool at all. It's like, like Mike, that movie with Lil Bow Wow. Bow Wow. When I lose my guitar, I lose all my pow wow. Pow wow wow is short for powers. Pow wow is short for powers. It normally takes hours to teach you that, but he's got a guitar so he's cool. He's got a guitar so he's cool. Guitar is cool. Guitar is cool. I'm gonna use this glass break sound like a cymbal. It's a little late, but it works. Everyone get up, y'all know that feeling Ethan's over here, he's breaking the glass ceiling oh. Tom's over there, he's strumming on them strings I'm over here, I got a big metal thing I thought saxophone was cool way back in the day But then I saw Tom play guitar and go Hey, this guy, he rips Me? I'm shit I don't even know what to do with my shit So oh. guitar is cool, guitar is cool Guitar is cool, that's cool and that's for sure. Guitar is cool, guitar is cool Guitar is cool, guitar is cool. Oh, it's wildly cool, bitch Guitar is cool. I hate to tell you, Nate, but I think that you are wrong. Not only is guitar cool, but so is sax. Go, come on, baby, play me a song. Come on, Nate. Sax is cool. Sax is cool. Sax is cool and it's sexy. It's a little bit cool. Sax is cool. It's fucking super cool. And it's sexy. And sexy. Yeah. Ooh, I undervalue myself. Welcome to Success Express, uh, the number one financial show in Peru, in a small village in Peru. We are number one, and uh, and we're here today to tell you about all things finance. We're here to tell you about the stock market. Crypto, of course, everyone wants to know about crypto, so we're going to talk about crypto today, and uh, we're going to talk about that big uh, infrastructure bill that just got passed and how it affects you and your family and your loved ones and your pets. Your pets are going to get their lives flipped upside down yeah, big with this pet bill. infrastructure mm-hmm. bill. It's a big, big pet bill. That's how it was known in Congress. Every dog gets its own bridge. Yep. Dog bridges. We're getting a lot of dog bridges across the United States thanks to Joe Biden and the Democrats for passing that big dog pet bridge bill. They talked about it for years, and they finally put it into action. And I'm glad that they did. (laughs) I don't know what that was, but uh, of course we have uh, a Shawnee Moose, but he just went out to Peace Goose. Uh, Mm -hmm. Much like your song. Much like, uh, yeah, Peace Goose. Uh, that last uh, the song that we <clears throat> started the uh, podcast with was called Peace Goose. Mm-hmm. Peace Goose. It's loosely exactly. based on Peace Train by Cat Stevens. Exactly. Yes, exactly. Mm-hmm. You can hear the uh, uh, the inspiration. Oh, of course. Um, I mean, Cat Stevens, one of the most inspirational. See, speaking of pets and animals. I was just going to say. Yeah, he's, yeah. His name is Cat. Yeah. He's always writing songs about mm-hmm. cats. Mostly cat mm-hmm. songs. I yep. think Peace Moose was either in the lyrics or in the parentheses. You know, they do that sometimes. Exactly, Subtitle. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Mm-hmm. But listen, guys, let's slow down a second. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, We're here to breaks. talk finance. We're not talking about Cat Stevens. Right. Okay. And, and, and Sean, I would normally say something to Sean. I love Sean so much. He's our producer. He's loose. He's goose. And he's walking back into the studio. Sean, what's up, man? How's Sean, it going? I'm glad you're back, here, Sean. buddy. Good to see you. He's walking. He's uh, uh, swerving through cables. Yeah. And he's sitting back down, really taking his time as per usual. Yeah, well, Guy moves like a snail. I mean, he's mm-hmm. putting his headphones on like this. Sean, you can just put them on your ears, dude. Yeah. What was that? I just wish I was sleeping right now. Yeah, of course. Don't Thanks we all, Sean? Lot, Tom. Been there. <laughs> Fucking moron. <laughs> I'm sorry. And guys, I don't want to curse, but it's just like, 
You guys are coming in here fucking steaming hot volcano level. Yeah. Sax, guitar, you're, you're, you're storming in, and then you have Sean here wishing he was asleep. Like, you don't even appreciate that they came, they yeah. brought stuff. He's and I'm a, not trying to call you out, Sean. I, you know, I, you know, we're good friends and stuff, but like, you're really fucking up. I mean, off the bat. Yeah. Oh, that's right. Sean, um, uh, get it together. You see that? that? This is what I hear when you talk, Sean. A very sleepy, sleepy baritone. You like that, Sean? You think that's helpful? Sean, I want to apologize right off the bat. We, we met six minutes ago. No, Tom, be no, honest no, 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 with no, no, Sean. No, 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 hey, no. It's Sean, important don't. to be honest Sean. with your friends, your coworkers. Yeah. Be blunt. All right. I've also known Sean six minutes. I know he's not the type to, he's not going to thrive on you babying him. Correct. That's true. He's not a baby. Yeah. Sean, when he's I leave this building. He's a grown man. He's a, he's a grown man. I hope I never see you again, dude. As you hear as that? I, as soon as I leave. Sean, they've known you six minutes. Yeah, I He's already, saying, I don't want to see you again in my life my because whole of life. your attitude. Here's where we're at. You have 54 minutes to turn it around. Yeah. And that's an opportunity. And that starts right now, Sean. So Timer's how on. are you feeling? It's great to see you. I love you so much as a friend. We're erasing all that other stuff you said. Right. doesn't matter. Right. What's up? What's up your butt? <laughs> No, I'm just a night owl. So, like, even if it's like, even if it's 1 p.m. right now, I'd be like taking up too much time. Sean, we don't time? have a lot of time. It's like a half hour show, Sean. Uh, uh, real quick, one more question, Sean. What time on average do you go to sleep? Uh, like 3 a.m., 4 a.m. Yeah. Wow. Yeah. Wow. Guys yeah. are fucking Lifelong maniac. Yeah. Parents are night owls. Yeah. It's in my DNA. Unbelievable. Yeah. Do you like owls as an animal? Speaking of animals, Speaking this big of infrastructure bill is really animal important bridges. for mm -hmm. owls too. Uh, you got mm -hmm. your dog bridges. You got your owl concaves. Yep. Mm -hmm. You know. I don't think about um, owls. You don't think about them. Well, They're incredible about creatures, the owls. And a lot of them endangered, Sean, so you really should think about them. Yep. Big mm -hmm. eyes, large wings. Think about that. Can't lose. Yep. Also, we have Lukey Lou. He's our new Purdue uh, in the studio. What's up, Lukey Lou? Hey, I'm just... What's up your butt? Honestly, just joy and happiness. It's so wonderful. <sighs> what time did you go That's to sleep? That's my man. Oh, I went to uh, crisp 10 p.m. Oh, oh, my oh Luke. God. Juicy. Luke the juice. Juicy Are you kidding me? Yeah. Juice. Throwing on juke. Come Ain't on. my fault he's out here getting loose. That's incredible, man. That's a healthy, that's a healthy bedtime. Mm -hmm. Did you drink, uh, do you drink tea before you sleep? I do, yeah. Sleepy Dude, time. I, kn I knew it. Yeah. It's a sleepy time tea. I've been, I was saying before, we, I've been in LA for four days. <laughs> and the honking, first of all. Yeah. Yeah. It's the cool. LA track. We're right next to a, yeah, yeah. highway. It's so the sometimes, mm -hmm. yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. 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 Oh. Oh. That uh, sounded like almost an accident. Yeah, but somebody was hear, swerving. But we didn't hear the critical. Crunch. I just hope we never hear an accident because that stuff really scared. That's your lips to God's ears. Oh, oh no! Oh no! <laughs> Are you kidding me? Just like someone's that. hurt. Oh god! I hope everybody's okay over there. That sucks. Oh. But no, you were saying that uh, sleep. Oh, I just the first thing I did when I got here, I bought like a forty-eight thing of Sleepy Time tea, big box. You forty-eight. Did. Never gonna drink it all. I don't sleep that much. You know, you could drink it all though if you wanted to fall asleep in like instantaneously. You just start dipping like six or seven of those right. suckers mm -hmm. into the same mm -hmm. cup. Right. And then you down that, and I guarantee you won't wake up for days. It's yeah. exponential per tea bag. Correct. Yeah. yeah. It it's, doubles the sleepiness. Yep. It's, or you could it, fight it off and hallucinate a little bit. Yeah, you could trip. Mm. You That's could what go Sean does. Sleepy tripping, as they call it. Get some it. Roseanne quality tweets out of it. <sighs> so, Bat mm. Nuna is asking if Lucas will ever stop being the new Purdue. And I guess the answer to that is pretty clearly no, unless we have a newer Purdue. You know, and I and as of right now, Lucas is fucking killing the game. I love you so much, Lucas. Thanks for joining us. Thanks, man. I, I really love the the guests today. They're they're really awesome, man. I, I love the guests too. On, yeah, guys. they're unbelievable. Uh, Tom and Nate are on. fucking destroying. Notable lack of compliments from Sean. Yeah, fifty one minutes to turn it around. And I don't want to call you know because you guys are calling stuff out. I might as well hop on board with you guys piggyback on this. But like, also, Lucas didn't say he loved me. He kind of said that he loved both of yeah, you guys. So yeah, if you notice yeah. that, yeah. yeah. Well, he's new. Yeah, so, I mean, it, Purdue. it's yeah. no excuse, though. I mean, he, this is a you know, big-time show. We're live on Twitch, That's and it's right. like it's all being recorded. So right. it's like kind of looks like shit if you don't say you love me back. Sorry, yeah. sorry. I did promise Eric that I'd say I love him on the pod just in case he's listening. Eric's not even in the room. Okay, we should uh, mention that off the bat. Yeah, Obviously, I'm glad to see you guys. I'm glad you guys yeah, are here. Yeah. But everybody knows who you are, financial gurus, Tom and Nate. You're right. here to help people out, and that's mm -hmm. dope. Mm -hmm. However, mm -hmm. there is something really fucked up creeping in the background of this dope-ass, dank-ass, joy-filled day we're having here, which is that Eric's gone. Normally, he would be here having fun with us, and he's not here right now, and it's pretty fucked up. I've never been in this position before, and you think, like, Ethan's going to buckle under the pressure. This guy's fucked. Yeah, he's he not going to do well. He has a co-host, and I should say, I guess, I, I didn't even intro myself. I'm Ethan the Crispy Crust Gaga Stink Hambone Jr., and... <laughs> 
So Can I'm gonna I say, call you're the, thriving right now. Oh my you're God. glowing. Yeah, dude. I saw three crispy Thanks. turkey billboards on the way in. Mm-hmm. Yeah, well, my mm-hmm. businesses are doing really well, but as a co-host, I am new to not having Eric around. Fair. Mm-hmm. So if you guys mm-hmm. will indulge me, I think we give Eric a call and we see how he's doing. He's right. out on the road. He's helping people in person. I think he's doing like private sessions and seminars and stuff, oh. trying to get people back on their on their horse, you know, sure. their financial horse. Who better? Mm-hmm. So yeah, if it's cool, let's give him a, let's give him a ring. Ring him up, mm-hmm. uh, and see what's up. Ring him up. It's a new segment called "Calling Eric the Wabi Sabi Poppy, the Mind Freak of Finance, the Sniper of Money, the Big Boy on Campus." Bing bong fuck. <laughs> Come on, Eric, pick up. Eric, God you damn this, Eric, pick up the phone. God. I guess there's a possibility he doesn't pick up. Also, Eric, which... pick up that goddamn phone. I swear to Christ. Eric, was he in that car? Please leave your message. Oh, oh my God. Was it? Tried to call my friend, tried to call my co-host. Like him so much, I like him the most. And yet he doesn't pick up the goddamn phone because he's a fucking scumbag. Piece of shit. Piece of shit. Piece of shit. Piece of shit. Who's a piece of shit, baby? Oh, not only that, I fucking told him that I'd call her. We're not Christian, but I think that's considered a sin. He said, call me before 12. And it's way before 12. Just a piece of shit, just a piece of shit, motherfucker, just a piece of shit. Just a piece of shit, motherfucker. Just a piece of shit, just a piece of shit, motherfucker. He's calling me back. I take back what I say. Let's pick it up. See what's up. Iraq. Hey. Hey, buddy boy. We were just serenading the memory of you. Yeah, we thought you died. Hey, what's going on, guys? You sound wasted. You sound like you got three or four funnel cakes and some beer in you. <laughs> no, I'm just I'm just calling to say what's up and hope that the show's going great. No, you're not calling to say what's up. I called you. Yeah, you're Ethan, calling unreal. me back. Ethan called you first. Well, thanks for calling, man. Yeah, you're fucking welcome. Jesus Christ. Where are you, man? Are you doing You told me you were doing like private one-on-one one-on-one financial sessions instead of yeah, the podcast. Really, you said you wanted to talk yeah. to people personally. Yeah, I am. Um, I've partnered up with Ricky Williams. Um, her, the, uh, he and I. The previous crazy. Miami Dolphins running back yeah. who got in trouble for smoking weed. The very same. Yes, the the, the very man himself. We uh, we partnered up in doing astrology and Reiki and financial wow. advice one on one seminars with people. A smart move. Wow. So right now I'm in Dubai working with. Um, oh my god. Job I ran, and we're sort of working. On his back and his and his chi and his qigong and all that's that incredible. Stuff. That actually that's sounds powerful. dope as yeah. shit. Eric, yeah. what time is it in Dubai right now? What? Yeah, what time is it's it in Dubai? Three fifty-five in the morning. Oh, that's wow. why you sound like shit. You wow. didn't pick up the phone. <laughs> that's crazy. Yeah, I, I've been up for seven days straight doing oxygen. <laughs> like at oxygen bars, or do you guys have your own like stash? <laughs> uh, oh, he's doing oxygen. He's doing oxygen I'm at, right I'm now. I'm at an oxygen bar with Chris Rock right now. Oh my god, dude! Can you tell him I said hi? We uh, we tried to do this pizza business together and it didn't work. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Hey, uh, Chris. Um, Eden says that he likes your stand up. Hey, hey, that's not what I said. Hey, tell hey, tell Chris Rock, big fan. He'll know what it means. Tell tell hey, him Chris. Nate said big fan that he'll get it. I guess it's like an inside Nate joke they have. It's, it's big fan. They go back for a while. We go back and forth. Yeah, mm-hmm. they text. Eric has partnered with Ricky Williams. Says on Twitch. <laughs> That's correct. All right. Well, Eric, listen, we're kind of getting into it, and it's kind of sick and uh, actually kind of fun and cool without you, uh, to be straight. So we're going to go, but like, have a good time doing oxygen in Dubai or whatever you're doing. Yeah. Well, I'm going to be honest. I'm a little pissed off. Oh, you're pissed off? <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Why are you pissed off? Because yeah, I'm over here doing the show. Well, I'm a little pissed off because, like, I said I couldn't do the show. Remember that. That's fine. And then and then you and then you get Tom McGovern, who's like so funny. 
Yeah, and cool and nice, I by know, the way. And great, and honestly, kind of funnier and better than me. So, like, what the fuck? What and honestly, it? Nate came also, so it's sort of like I have Tom times two here. So, you're pretty fucked. Listen to this, you stupid piece of shit. <laughs> you ever fucking sound like that? No, I never. I can't do that. Closest thing you've done is make a fart, and then guess what? It smells like dump after. Yep. Don't treat me like Sean. I'm not treating you like Sean. I'm treating you the way I treat everyone, which is what they deserve. And you, complete honesty, and, you know, maybe there's an episode of The Boneyard that's live right now. Sorry, what? Is Lucas there? Lucas is there. Yeah, Lucas is here, of course. And I Lucas, think he's equally can pissed. Lucas, can you hear me? I hear you. I love you, pal. He already said that he loved you. Wow. He already got that's, through that. That's mm-hmm. so fucked yeah, up, dude. And I, mean, I love you, Eric. Oh, my God. Twice. twice. Oh, my God. Wow. I can't get one of those. I can't fucking. No one told Ethan that he's loved once yet. Eric got two I love yous. Lucas. Well, I think the people have spoken, and it's just a matter of time until I get my own show. Look, I think you're being a piece of shit. I don't want to be straight with you, but I still love you so much. And and actually, tell Ricky Williams I said I think that he's dope as fuck, and I loved watching him play on the Dolphins. It was awesome. <laughs> you're a great I love athlete. you too, man. I Phenomenal miss you athlete. and I miss the show. Mm-hmm. I feel like a... I feel like a real crab apple for not being there. Yeah, yeah, a bit of a crab apple, but don't worry. Don't let that uh, ruin your time there in Dubai and at the oxygen bars. And uh, just keep us updated. You know what I mean? Just say hey once in a yeah, while. Shoot and that's us a fine. text, Eric. Yeah, for the love of God. Yeah, and pick up the fucking, fucking phone, phone when I really, call you. Pick really, up the phone. idiot. I'm sorry. Ricky was doing some Reiki on a, on uh, on Bill Gates, and I think was, we're uh, gonna leave it off on that. Ricky yeah, doing Reiki, Ricky doing Reiki, mm-hmm. little Ricky Reiki Ricky, Ricky, Ricky Williams. Once again, you are tuned in to the 190th ranked financial podcast in the lower side of Manhattan, and I believe we have an advertisement. Is that correct, Sean? Is there a commercial that we have to throw to? Uh, we may, but uh, I think we Eric, may. Eric, you don't actually, even know. You're the producer of the show, so you're is? unsure if we have one. I am unsure. Uh, Eric is asking me if we can play his cue. Are you serious? Yeah. <laughs> He's interrupting the show for that? We're well past the intro period. But yeah, no, sure. Go ahead. Even though he's not on the show or in the fucking state. God damn In it. the country even. Let's play Eric's piece of shit intro. As if he was here and as if we were just starting the show. That makes sense. Yeah, I love it. Go ahead. Are right, you do it. I do. I have you, to do it all. You trigger, trigger it. it. No. The, the gall. I'm not doing that. I don't the even know. I don't even have it. What the it's fuck the operation is this? It's Are you dumb? Time. It's our last text. Your last text? The messages. Okay. So if I'm going to open up, That's going to be your last app. text ever. Yeah. That's right. That's a death threat. Okay. Eric and Sean, I'm looking at my texts. You're listening to Success Express with America's co-host, Eric, the Wabi Sabi Poppy, the mind freak of finance, the sniper of money, 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 big boy fuck. Breaking news, a duty explosion inside a Panera Bread bathroom is leaving more questions than answers. A team of septic experts are asking local law enforcement to seek the whereabouts of 31-year-old Eric, the Wabi Sabi Poppy, the mind freak of finance, the sniper of money, Bing Bone Fuck. More information as this story develops. Back to you in the studio, Ethan Kaka Stink. Thank you, April Showers. Holy shit, can we, uh, can we uh, unpack this a little bit? Uh, th- sure, Duty sure. explosion in a Panera Bread? Yeah. <laughs> Bathroom. Bathroom. Yeah, that's correct. Yeah, yeah Eric. Uh, so she doesn't know he's in Dubai, it sounds like. No, no. April, uh, she's kind of a, an independent investigator, uh, let's say. Yeah. Yeah. Kind of does her own thing. Mm-hmm. Kind of tells her own news. She does what she wants, says what she wants, yeah. lives by the seat of her pants. Love it. Yeah. But let's talk about you guys. You guys are a guest on the program. <laughs> yes, sir. Uh, and I, I just want to say huge fans. Wow. And I, I, we're all huge fans is what I'm trying to say. I, I, and <laughs> Thank a, you, man. That's a two-way wow. street. I, it's a, it's <clears throat> an honestly an honor to be here because we've obviously... Truth be told, we have kind of been listening to this podcast for a while. Long time. We, we've wow. been inspired by all of the Not moves surprised. that mm-hmm. you and Eric have made as of the course. business motherfuckers that you are. Thank you. Thank you so much. Uh, well put. So, well yeah. said. Uh, so we're mm-hmm. lucky to be here. We've learned a lot. 
I'm learning a lot every second I'm with you guys. It's yeah. coming off you like through your pores, I guess, and I'm sucking it in through yeah. my nose. Yeah, right. That's and it, huh? I feel like, oh my God, like yeah. I'm getting smart like the Matrix, right. but yeah. in front of me instead of behind exactly. with a cable mm-hmm. in my neck. Exactly. Mm-hmm. For the two of us, in, we, we established early on in our open dog bridge Labradisness relationship. Right. Yep. That it, it's all about honesty. It's transparency. Wow. The second one of us enters into a new Labrading Dung with someone else, we look the other one in the eyes. Mm-hmm. We say, "Hey, there's a there's a hot uh, there's a hot uh, little uh, bitch out that. there wanting to do some bitch business." <laughs> and you guys say that exact thing every time. Direct eye this contact. Happens. We say just like this. We say, "Hey." There's a hot little bitch out there looking to do some. Okay, you're not saying it. It seemed. Oh, I, th- no, I thought no, no, it was so going to happen simultaneously. I'm so well. sorry. I'm so sorry. I'm so sorry. I'm sorry. Okay. Oh, oh just, my God, uh, Lucas, can we get a yeah, sound Jesus isolation Christ. or something? We're it's trying just, to record a, a wow. fucking podcast. You hear traffic all the time. People dying outside. <laughs> oh Jesus Christ! That's, like, that's another... At least they didn't get hit. Uh, oh God! Oh man, that's mm-hmm. a fucking shame. Well, listen, guys, I appreciate you being here. This has been an unbelievably educational experience. Uh, I hope people were taking notes and they buy your book. Uh, I forget the name of the book. Uh, oh, yeah. Bridge uh, uh, Bitch in, Business Busy Boys. The mm-hmm. sorry, Bitch Business Busy Boys, and you right. can get that right now on their website, Penguin or, Publishing. PenguinPublishing.com. Penguin Penguin and just scroll down, and yeah. then you click on it. And that's it. So thank you guys so much. And we'll see you literally in like five, ten minutes. Maybe I would say six and a half minutes if you're here on Twitch. And if you're not, we'll see you next week. Bye bye. Thank you guys. Success Express is an all things comedy podcast, and it's produced by Sean Tracy and Lucas Bollinger. Also, Eric and I are creating other podcasts. And if you want exclusive access to that, you got to go to patreon.com slash success express. Thanks for listening, McDucks. Bye bye.